Hello and welcome once again to this wonderful, wonderful place, the Upper Valley Humane Society, where animals, four-legged and uh, sometimes no legs, we've had snakes before, um, come to find a home, a forever home. So please uh, keep watching and keep thinking about how you could fill in fill your house with any of these wonderful, wonderful animals you're going to see. So have your pen and pencil ready, or your cell phone, so that you can call as soon as you see somebody that you want, and sit back otherwise, and just enjoy life with us. Thank you. Today we're going to start off with dogs, and I am introducing Buddy Bones. He hasn't quite turned around yet, so he knows his name. Now, Buddy Bones is just a fantastic young man, a young dog. Uh, I shouldn't just use the word, because men have two legs. Buddy Bones has four very energetic legs. Isn't he beautiful? And um, he's only seven months old, so he's a puppy. And I know a lot of people want puppies. Maybe you want something cute and cuddly, but Buddy Bones is very cute and cuddly too, aren't you, darling? And, and this is Emily, by the way. Um, who is the dog person here, and, um, oh buddy, you're being so good, yes, so he's very playful, very energetic, uh, he would love to have a, um, a family, maybe with older children, perhaps 10 and up, um, he's dying, oh, can you come to me, come on buddy, come on up here, come on, come on, come on, good boy, good boy, yeah, he would love to learn soccer, and football and baseball, all of those sports, he, he's really longing to do that. And he would also like to go to obedience classes, which he does need. Well, he's young. He doesn't know these things. And he, uh, does he do sit or anything like that? Yeah, he knows the basic skills. He knows the basic skills. And he would love to do, uh, he's very athletic too, you know, so that, as well as liking all these games. Um, he, he, love, he would love to do um, the, what's it called? Um, Agility. Agility class. He'd be very good at that, but he'd have to sort of do the obedience class first. So Buddy Bones needs, a, a, he does need a lot of exercise. He needs walks and um, he's, you know, learning to be good on the leash and he just gets excited when he's going out. But he, if you're a hiker, it would be fantastic and he would be such a good companion. Uh, he's got a very good nose. He can sniff things out. And um, let me see, is he good with cats, Carrie? No. No, I saw him looking at those cats over there, so no cats. Um, uh, but another dog I think would be wonderful for him. Uh, a nice companion, and if he had a little fenced-in yard, he, they could play and play and play and play with a ball or a bone or whatever. So, um, <laughs> he's, I just think this dog is lovely. He's got a very sweet temperament. And you can see how cuddly he is. And he's excited now because he was told he was going to be on camera. So he was very, very happy and excited about that. But please come and see him because if you uh, weight kisser too. <laughs> uh, I, I always like to check out dogs to see if they're good kissers. And, and he's certainly right up there. A1, I would say. So please come and see him and, and take him home and you'll all fall in love with him. And... and wonder how you ever did without him. Isn't that right, Nani? Here I am, a widow in my 70s, and I have found my prince. What do you think of that, folks? This is Prince, and he is four months old, and he is just wonderful. He is entirely black, almost, except for a little white bit under here, and two white front paws. Isn't that right, Prince? And of course, because he's only four months old, he's very bouncy. So we do rec recommend older children, 10, but you would have such fun with this dog. He's got a sweet nature. Oh, and he's being neutered, by the way, so he's all ready to go home. And um, he's, oh, his coat is wonderful. And as a big bonus, he has got the best tail wag that I think, almost, that I have ever met. And that's very important, you know, to have a dog that wags. Because when you're feeling a bit down and dreary and depressed or, you know, you've had a nasty day at the office 
one thing and another, and then you come back to Prince, and oh my goodness, um, there's the tail going, hey, hello mummy, hello daddy, hello whoever, here I am, I'm all ready to go, love, let's go for a lovely walk, and of course there's nothing like a walk, a good walk is, um, with all those sniffs, squirrels and things to chase. Um, to, to buck your spirits up. I, I always love my walks. I always come back in quite a different mood. Uh, anyway, here is Prince. And um, does he get on with other dogs, Kerry? Kerry's yes. there, but I'm yes, sorry. Yes, he does. Yeah, loves other dogs. And in fact, it would be a very good idea for him uh, to have a companion. So if you've got one dog, well, it's two dogs. It's nothing, really. And they amuse themselves, especially if you're out all day. Um, you know, it would be nice for him to be in a run, a fenced-in run, and have someone to play with. Um, and of course, he will need to go to uh, obedience class. Um, and that. <laughs> so I hope you're adventurous, because I would imagine that that was <laughs> that would be quite eventful until he, you know, he learns his basics. Uh, and probably what this dog needs more than anything is just exercise. So I'm talking about you enjoying your walk and it being good for you, but, but it has to be a good, good walk. And if you can twice a day, and then you know, put him in a pen with another dog, you know, maybe if he has to be by himself, but I, I'm not sure that it's very fair on a dog to this age and this energy to be by himself all day. Um, but you know, there's always, when he gets, when he's been to uh, dog school, you know, there's always dog sitters. I mean, my old Daxon has a wonderful, wonderful dog sitter, Auntie Marlene, and sometimes she has up to six dogs in her tiny house, but my dog loves to go there, and it means he's not alone all day. So, uh, can you look at the camera, dear? Uh-huh. That's very nice, very nice picture. So, uh, no, look at that, look at that. Isn't he gorgeous? But he's also got the sweetest nature, and I'll tell you something about this tail wag. I think it also denotes the fact that Prince has a great sense of humor. And uh, certainly, if, you know, my, my Prince, when I get a Prince, I don't really want one, but anyway, uh, would have to have a sense of humor above everything. How can you get through life without laughing? And Prince is a great laugher. You know, he's lovely, sort of, big, shows his teeth and wags his tail, and yeah. Mwah. Gorgeous, gorgeous coat. So, if you're looking for a young dog, he's four months old, and he's just raring to go. He's looking forward to his new family, and a lot of fun and games, and throwing the ball, and all sorts of things like that. Uh, you'll love to have him. So, please come and see him, because I know if you come and see him, you'll I say this every time, but how can you help it? You come to see a dog or a cat, and they sort of, just say hello to you, and your heart is gone. So please, lose your heart to Prince. Here we are with uh, uh, a quite a different uh, person here, or doggy here. Um, and uh, he, uh, this is Bug. And um, you can hug Bug. You know? So he's a hug Bug. And um, he's a wonderful dog. He gets on with everybody, uh, other pets, children. Um, again, probably because he's quite a big, strong, I would say children five and up. Um, loves walkies, of course, every dog loves walkies, except my dachshund who doesn't like walkies, but most dogs really like walkies. And um, he has a great sense of smell, so you would have to be careful on a walk and have him on, on a leash because um, if he's got to smell something, a deer or something, he, he would be off. And that's not a good idea, especially at any season, but particularly now when the does have their, their young. And he would need a fenced-in yard, and he wouldn't mind a friend. In fact, he'd probably like a friend, and as I say, he doesn't mind cats. And um, I don't know about rabbits or anything like that. I'm not certain about that. But he has a lovely curly tail. Uh, he, he was given up, sadly. I mean, surrenders are usually rather have usually rather sad stories to them. So he's looking for another loving loving home, um, and um, he uh, I love his colouring. So he is what we call uh, I don't know about his ancestry, but he's well. Who knows really about their ancestry? 
Um, I you know my ancestors were Scottish and they really weren't very nice people. They just were cattle raiders and things like that. So uh, anyway, he is an all American mutt, actually, like most of us all American mutts. So um, isn't that right, Bug? Can you look at the camera or look at me, Bug? Oh, I say these are lovely, Bug, aren't they? Oh, gosh. Very nice, a little bit at a time. And um, he's got these wonderful bow legs. You see his bow legs when he walks along like this. And he's quite a powerful dog, and he's, he's a long dog. Um, some dogs are tall, and some are tiny, and some are, are short, and some are just long. Uh, there's quite a distance between the front end and the back end. Uh, but as you can see, Bug really likes his food, and he really likes to be cuddled. Of course, how can you have a dog and not cuddle it? As I say, he is a hug bug. And a love hug bug. Well, you could go on for quite a long time. So, uh, Emily, do you think that he needs to have obedience classes, or is he doing quite well? I think he does quite well. Um, I think the biggest thing for him would be on leash or a fencing yard. Yes, definitely a fencing yard when he goes out on the leash. Uh, and, of course, he's five years old, so once he's settled in, I mean, when he first comes to your home, he'll be excited and running around and all the rest of it. But as soon as he settles in, he'll be just fine. But... Um, because, you know, they're in a fenced in yard. He, he needs those high, oh, he'd love a hike. If you're a hiker, oh, you'd love that. Climb to the top of the mountain, you know. Climb every mountain. <laughs> That's fun for you. Yep, he'll climb every mountain with you and down the other side. So uh, if, oh, look, very handsome profile. So please come and see Bob and give him a hug. So here I am with a darling little kitten. Um, he's the last one to go out of his litter and he is actually going to a home. But we have other kittens in the pipeline. We, they are in foster homes at the moment, which means they're not quite old enough to come here. This kitten has been in the arms of every member of staff here, I can tell you. And he is so sweet. Um, lucky people who are taking him home. Isn't that right, darling? What's that then? What's that? Can you look at the camera and say hello? So actually, what we wanted to say, the two of us, was about a walk that the, uh, for, in aid of the Humane Society. It's called a Tales and Trails Walkathon. Can you read it for me? Thank you. Uh, and it's on Saturday, May the 21st. And we start at Coburn Park in Lebanon. Calling all animal lovers. Well, I presume since you're watching this program, you are an animal lover. And join us in raising funds and awareness for homeless animals in the Upper Valley. Nine o'clock registration. And if you raise $25, you get sponsored by sponsors and you raise more than $25, you get a t-shirt. And 10 a.m. the walk begins at well-behaved dogs, well-behaved dogs are on a leash, are invited. So there you are, there's an opportunity to walk them. And 11 o'clock is the Bark in the Park Festival. Dog-themed activities, uh, food and vendors. And the, 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 uh, park, the Bark in the Park will be at Coburn Park. So there you are, Saturday, May the 21st. Please, folks, um, be alerted, put it down in your diary right now or on your iPhone or whatever those things are. I don't have one, I don't have cell phone service where I live, thank goodness. Um, Coburn Park in Lebanon, be there at nine and uh, talk to all your friends and say, could you possibly sponsor me for this walk? Um, and it's lovely walking now because the spring is here. Uh, and it doesn't matter how much your friends sponsor you for, five, five dollars is fine if you can get twenty-five dollars out of them even better. And if you can get fifty dollars, uh, you're a winner. So, um, of a t-shirt, uh, and more than that, you're a winner for helping animals. So, please folks, think about it. And, oh, where are you going? Do you want to go somewhere else? And if you want a kitten, or you're looking for a kitten, then please call us here. And um, tell, just tell people here that you would like to have a kitten and would they let you know when, when they come in. And um, meanwhile, this little darling 
is uh, off to his new home very soon. But he just wanted to make that announcement for you and try to encourage people to participate. Thank you. So now we're on to cats. And uh, our very first cat is, believe it or not, Ginger. Uh, now Ginger is um, 10 years old. She's slightly arthritic. And I can understand that, you know, trouble with the hands and getting up and things like that. Mm -hmm. So, um, is she on any arthritis medication or anything like that? Not currently, but you could supplement her diet yes. with, uh, with, with something. With there's, something. There's lots of very good things for animals like that. Anyway, and so Ginger is, or has, a very, capital V, capital L, large, personality, capital P. <laughs> and when she comes to your house, uh, she doesn't want anybody else, no, no other animal there, no dog, no cat, because Ginger needs all your attention. And she is very talkative, uh, very, very talkative. Um, so she would like to be with older children and adults. Um, and so, well, you know, if you live alone, it's great because you've got someone to talk to. And don't take any notice of those friends on the phone and you're talking to the cat and they say, who are you talking to? And they say, I'm talking to my cat and they think you're nuts. Well, so what? Uh, anyway, she is an excellent conversationalist. She knows everything. You can't tell Ginger anything, can you, sweetheart? No, because she'll come right back and say, well, you're wrong or you're right. Meow, meow, no, you don't know what you're talking about. Um, but she's very loving and she loves exploring. And having fun, and she probably like. Does she like cat toys? Would she like? She likes catnip toys. She loves catnip. 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 Well, they all like catnip. Catnip well, is. It makes you a little high, doesn't it? If you're a cat. Yeah, just a tiny, <laughs> tiny little bit of high. You know, when you're having your evening glass of wine, you can give her a little bit of her you know, glass of catnip. There you are. But she really is a fun cat because she is so outgoing. And um, she came in here going, meow, meow, yeah, I'm not sure where I'm going. And um, she would, oh, she's got fun, she's got those special paws, hasn't yeah. she? Yep, she's thumbs. What are they called? Well, I call it a thumb. It's just an extra toe. It's an extra toe. Yeah, but yes. it looks like a little yes. mitten. Isn't it wonderful? Yeah, the furry mitten, a ginger yeah. furry mitten. So <laughs> please, um, come and see Ginger. And uh, as I say, particularly I think if you're single and uh, you know you've got you want somebody to sort of talk to or be around, Ginger would be wonderful. Uh, but on the other hand, she'll go every, anywhere as long as she's got a house that she can take charge of and boss people around. She's very bossy, um, and she'd be ha she'd be happy anywhere. She just really wants a home. And um, obviously, she wants somebody who's going to comply to her every wish. Isn't that right, Ginger? Right, so now I'm introducing another 10-year-old kitty cat. And she is so beautiful, Calico. I do love the Calico ones. And, and her name is Bertha. And um, Caitlin is, so, and she is a special needs cat. And so if there are someone out there who is happy to give special attention to a cat, she would like someone who is around basically all the time, well, unless you're out shopping or something like that, but she she needs company. Um, and what about other cats? She'd probably rather be on her own. She would rather needs. be on her own, but she doesn't seem too bothered by no, them. No. So could you tell um, the viewers something a little yes. about what to expect from okay. Bertha? So Bertha is a, a senior cat, and when she came in, we found that she has um, a tumor. So she has cancer. Um, the cancer is not operable um, because of her age and because of the size. Um, however, her quality of life is very good. She's happy. She's very comfortable. Um, so in her home, her adopter would just need to know that uh, she does have cancer and she might not live as long as um, an like another cat, yes. a different cat. Yes, um, yes. But she's a wonderful companion. She's a great cat. Yeah, she's really a lovely cat. Deserves yes. a, a good home for yes. the rest of her life. And when she becomes in a lot of pain, then you know, you, you, whoever has her and loves her, you know, you have to make that. You would have to make that very difficult decision, but very, um, very brave and um, compassionate decision to uh, euthanize her. But we feel that right now she's very perky, 
and um, who knows? She, you know, she could live. She could live quite a long time after you've had her, or she might not. But what does it matter as long as she's happy? I always feel that like that about any animal that I've ever had that has to um, go uh, early. Um, that they've just had a wonderful time with me, and they've known a lot of love and happiness. And what more can any of us hope for in life? And so there you are. I hope there's somebody out there who just feels that this is a this is a cat, a lovely animal who is most deserving of love and attention and um, whatever she might need um, to make her, you know, her ending the best possible. So please come and see Bertha because she is lovely. Look how she's settled down now. Of course, they all love to be. They all love the scratching on their forehead, don't they? So anyway, she's a sweetheart and she's very lively right now. Yeah, yeah. She's like, let me go. Yes. I want to go and play there, something. There, oh, there it is. I can feel it. So this is Cookie. Cookie's been here for seven months. She uh, is uh, four years old, and she has a lot of personality, too. Um, she loves to be petted when she wants to be petted. She knows her own mind. She's a very, very smart cat, actually. And you'll find that. It'll be, oops, a lot of fun you know, finding out how smart she is. And she'll tell you when she wants to be petted, and um, she'll tell you when she doesn't want to be petted. So you've got to, you know, be alert what Cookie wants, because what Cookie wants, Cookie makes sure she gets. Um, but she's a very sweet and loving cat, and she, isn't she big? She's very big and beautiful. And she said, and I've been here for seven months, and, and you know, and, oh, by the way, she wants to be your only pet. Absolutely no dogs. Oh, those creatures, loud, smelly. Oh. And she didn't want any other cats either, taking away, you know, her sunshine, um, because Cookie likes to be in the sunshine. She, has different, she does not like to be picked up. But, as I say, she, uh, if she wants to be cuddled, she'll come and tell you she wants to be cuddled. And uh, so it's, yeah, so I, I think she's a rather interesting animal, actually. She's looking at the kitten now. What's in here, she says. And I think I, I would really enjoy finding out all the things that I could do to keep her, to keep Cookie smart and, you know, carrying on the way that she likes. She would probably be good with an, an only person, do you think, or wouldn't it matter? What about children? I would say older children. She older would be children, fine. yes. Um, she gets yes. a little easily overwhelmed yes. um, with a lot of noise. So and she, yeah, she, yeah, she but, wants a quiet home. But she's a smart girl. Yes. You know, she yes. likes to meet people and yes. hang out. Yes. Oh, and I, by the way, I forgot to say the Caitlin. I'm sure you remember Caitlin from other programs. But in case someone's watching this program for the first time, this is Caitlin. And Carrie's behind over there holding the things for me. <laughs> I have these signs, you know, so I can remember who's who. So anyway, this is Cookie, and please come. She has been here for some time, and she doesn't like that. She feels, you know, very put upon, really, and that it's just not right, that she should not be treated like that. Anybody should be very happy to have Cookie in their home. She is lovely, and she's got these beautiful green eyes, and um, we could maybe lose a tiny bit of weight. She could use some, maybe. Maybe some activity. Yes, a little activity. Yeah, you could find fun things. Go to the, go to the animal store and, and you know, get some games for her and things to push and pull and, and explore and find. Maybe you, know, you could hide things and she could go and find them. But all in all, she would be a wonderful companion for someone. And I think a lot of fun because... There you are, sweetheart. Yes, you like that. Yeah, good girl. Good girl. You want that little scratch on the head there? That's right. So please, come and look at Cookie. And um, we do have other cats as well, do we? We have one rabbit. Oh, we only have one rabbit. Oh, we have tons of rabbits. I'm we gonna, have tons I'm of rabbits. I'm going to show you one rabbit. Oh, okay. We've got one rabbit coming up. So, um, but okay, yes, Cookie, cats. look at the camera, smile. Say, please, please, take me home. So here we have an absolute prize for you. 
This is Peter Rabbit. Of course, what rabbit wouldn't be called Peter? And Peter was given up because the person who had him before was elderly and felt that you know, he, she couldn't look after him properly. But she absolutely adored him. And it was a very difficult and very brave decision. And so this rabbit is extraordinary. He is litter box trained. He loves to play with toys and things. He likes to be cuddled as long as you're sitting down. Rabbits do not like to be held up here and you must never let a rabbit jump out of your arms because they have quite fragile bones and they can hurt themselves. Um, he also likes to sleep on your bed. Uh, he likes to cuddle up with you on the couch. Um, and what else do we know about Peter Rabbit? He's just, he's just a he's, darling. He's smart. He, oh, he's smart. He's so he, very smart. He likes to, uh, if you rearrange his enclosure, yes. a way he doesn't like, he will yes. put all of his things back in a yeah. way that he likes. Oh, how funny. He yeah, will that's... arrange his blankets in a way that is comfy, the way that he likes yes. it. Um, he, and look at his pink ears. He'll he's... stand up on his back feet to ask you to pat his head. Oh. He's exceptional. He oh. is a, he's so amazing. can he just wander around the house? Yes. He yep. can, yeah, he, so, and as I say, he's litter box trained. He's um, only and, adopted out as a house rabbit. Yes, yep. he's a house rabbit. Um, so what happens if, you know, in the, in the summer that he had a, a, a cage outside, would that work or not? So, um, in the summer when it's warm, it's okay for them to go outside in a safe enclosure. Yes. You really should bring, you should be supervising them. Yes, you you've got to be there when the that evening. happens. Yes. Um, Yes. He is a house pet. He's used to living in a house. He's very clean. He's very sweet. He is just, he would make a wonderful, wonderful little children. buddy. Fine. He's met many children yes. here at the shelter and he's always been very appropriate. Yes. He loves the attention. But not, not too young. I mean, children and pets generally, when they're very young, it can be difficult because they always want to pick them up and things like that. So, How long uh, anyway, for? probably. You might have noticed he's shedding. Rabbits, yes, rabbits will yeah. shed twice a year. Usually. But you could collect it all. I tell you who would love it. You could collect it all and put it in a net, put it out for the birds. Okay. And just think, um, I always, you know, clean my hairbrush off and things like that and put it out there. And, look, and the birds love it. And so it's great for their nests and their little, you know, fledglings, little bird, little baby birds. And they've got soft rabbit fur there. Oh, just they so cosy, especially if you get a day like yesterday with the snow and ice and gosh knows what. Um, anyway, look at him. I mean, he's just perfectly content. And you could cuddle him on your bed at night. And, um, you know, some people are allergic to cats and, um, and dogs. So you've got an animal here that you, know, you could try. But please, folks, he's been here for what? A few, a few months. A few months. Long enough. Yes, but it's time he had his own home and his own people to love him dearly, dearly, dearly and, um, and have fun. And you could probably make little tunnels. You could get oh, some yes. of those pipes and make tunnels for him to go through. And I bet you could hide little snackies sometimes and he might play hide and seek. It, you, he's just, I can't tell you how wonderful this rabbit is and how much he needs um, not only a loving home, but a home that's going to appreciate him mm -hmm. and, and keep him busy. He's very smart and, and keep him busy and just have fun with him. So, uh, how old is he? He's four. Yes. yes. Just let the people know that he does not gonna, he's not going to shed like this all the time. No. <laughs> this is, yeah, this is just, well, it's spring. A lot of birds are shedding, <laughs> a lot of horses are shedding, there's great big woolly coats they get in the winter, my dog's shedding. Yeah, it's this is, shedding time. This is temporary. Yes, and I suppose <laughs> we could try and shed, as humans, shed all of our, you know, difficulties and woes and all the rest of it and just start again and with a spring in our step. And so please come and see Peter Rabbit. Please, please take him home. And so once again we have come to the end of our program. You've seen some wonderful, wonderful animals. I hope that... Um, by the end of next week, perhaps, I will have heard uh, from Carrie that they have all found wonderful, the best homes in the world. Hello, Peter, darling. And uh, so we thank you so much for watching, and we love to um, see you here. Uh, if you, you know, you 
you saw everybody but not exactly what you want just keep coming uh, we have animals in all the time and different ones and so we need you folks we need you always and so from Carrie and Caitlin and Mary behind the camera and Peter Rabbit right here in the front we do say goodbye and again thank you for watching and for your support and we will see you again in a month's time with, with hopefully a whole lot of new animals for you. So please take care, be careful driving, and enjoy the spring. Chief Dan George said, if you talk to the animals, they will talk to you, and you will know each other. If you do not talk to the animals, you will not know them. And what you do not know, you will fear. What one fears, one destroys.